The reading is from Colossians 1, verses 15 to 20. The Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, All things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have the supremacy. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Gospel reading is from Luke's Gospel, chapter 2. And I'm reading verses 1 to 20. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child, And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. And this is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Lord, these words that we sing are words of unbelievable depth that the God, the Word, your Son, should become one of us. Born into humility, born out of love for us. And we pray that we would understand more of the depths and therefore rejoice and ponder and treasure all these truths. And now please speak to us in Jesus' name. Amen. So, has anybody opened any presents already this morning? Hands up, a few of you have. Okay, a few over there have, okay. So, everybody else, I guess, you're waiting for this afternoon? Or maybe you're thinking, can we up? 
Short, short sermon, please, Vicar, because the quicker you're, you're, you're finished, the quicker we can go home. Well, we need your help to see whether this is a short sermon or not. Um, Christmas is a gift that's more than Christmas, isn't it? Jesus is the gift of amazing depth and wonder and joy. And really, it's our lifelong mission to unwrap the layers, to go deep, to wonder and ponder at the gift of Jesus. There are some gifts that you get given each year or given year on year, which kind of you open up and you say, that's nice, and put them on the side and they kind of stay there for quite a long time. My mother-in-law may be watching this later on uh, online. The Rubik's Cube he gave me a couple of years ago is unwrapped. Well, it's uh, open up. It's in the packaging on my bookshelf. It looks nice, but sorry, I never quite open it. <laughs> but actually, if a present is valuable, don't you want to open it up? If it's a puzzle, you want to open it up and get working on it. If it's a toy, you want to open it up and get playing with it. If it's a whatever it is, if it's a kitchen utensil, I suppose you'll get around to it eventually and use it for someone. Maybe there's more a gift by the giver who's thinking of their own uh, benefit. So we're going to open up the depths and wonder of Christmas uh, with my Christmas parcel today. Yes, please. We're going to do this um, musical parcel. What's the, what's the right? Pass the parcel. Pass the parcel. That's what I... My mind's gone blank already. Pass the parcel style, okay? So... Um, uh, Colin, I might shout to you so you can stop at strategically random times um, uh, to make this work. If you are, end up sat sitting far away from everyone else, you shouldn't have. You should sat closer to somebody else. So this is going to go around the church. When it stops, you get to take a layer off. You get the presents. Uh, the very last present you don't get to keep. Okay, more of that later on. So let's start, shall we? Um, over here. Passing away with our off you go, pass it along. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, open up, I'll take over there. Very good. Open up. Those quality papers hard work. There's something for you, something for me. And there. Who is Jesus? He's the source of great joy, the source of great joy. And that's one of the reasons we have to delve into the Bible, not only at Christmas, but year round. Because here in the Bible, in the story of Jesus, is the source of great joy. We dig into the Bible week by week because we want the joy of the Lord in our lives. Let's keep the music going. Pass it on. Somebody may have wrapped that present, um, so who's next? Okay, the next layer of Christmas, and we're following through Luke chapter 2. A saviour, the angel said, I could bring you good news of great joy, a saviour has been born. Jesus, the name means the Lord saves. He's come to rescue to rescue from our sin, to rescue from death, to rescue from uh, being far apart from God because of our wrongdoing, to bring us near. Jesus is the Saviour. We need him because we need to be saved. We need to press into why Jesus is such a great Saviour. Let's keep it going. Wonderful. Random is amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Open up what we have now for you. That's for you. Thank you very much. 
What do we have next? The angel said, you'll find he's he the Messiah. The baby lying in the manger is the Messiah. The anointed one. Which means he is full of the life of God. When people were anointed in the Old Testament, oil was poured on them. We might see a little bit of that in the coronation. Charles will be anointed with a tiny bit of oil. But the kings and priests of the Old Testament, oil was, special oil was poured on them because they symbolise Jesus and all the life of God is poured on Jesus. And we can enter into the life of God when we come to Jesus. We come to him week by week to receive the life of God because he is the Messiah. Let's keep going. There we go, okay, thank you. Our next one, he is the Lord. Jesus is the Lord. Think of it. The one whose hands sustained the universe was born a baby, maybe gripped Mary's finger. That's all he could hold. The one who sustains life, God himself, was himself sustained by Mary during her pregnancy and in those early months of his life. The one who spoke all things into being lay speechless in a manger. God himself has become one of us. Jesus is the Lord. That means there's always more because God is infinite. There's always more of God to press into, to get to know because the infinite God has come to us. Let's keep the music going. You weren't fast enough, Colin. You've got to open this one now. There we go. <laughs> Do you want to open it up? Lost your presence. Uh, this today might be a mystery. Some of your presence might be exactly what it is. You made it very clear what you wanted. But your presence may be a mystery. There's something about Jesus which is both mystery and no. Peace with God. The angel said, we bring you good news of great joy for all people. And the Saviour, the Messiah has been born, Christ the Lord. And they sang glory to God and peace on earth. Peace on earth. Peace with God. That is, we can be forgiven and restored to fellowship, to friendship with God. We can enjoy peace with God and week by week, We come again to receive the blessings of peace with God, forgiveness and his truth applied to our lives. Jesus means peace with God. Let's keep the music going. I'm afraid of you guys over there. You're looking pretty doubtful he's going to come to you. Unless I've got 15, you know, 25 layers of them. Thank you very much. Good news for everyone. The, the, the shepherds went to Bethlehem. They saw the Saviour, the Messiah, the Lord lying in a manger. And they ran back and they told everybody. Because this message is good news for everyone. We all need Jesus. Everyone can enter into the great news of Jesus. As church, we want the whole world to know that Jesus is good news for them, for everybody. Okay, this is the last, I think it's the last bit of music. Last bit of music. Let's send it on its way. Let's see how far it gets.
the last layer, someone to be treasured. After all the joy of Christmas, after the, the shepherds left and they're telling everybody about him, and as Mary thought, I need a quiet afternoon now, we're told Mary treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. She thought about what had happened. She, she meditated on, she, she considered over the years that followed, what would this child do? This child who we're told is a source of great joy, the Saviour, the Messiah, the Lord, the child who brings peace with God, the child who is good news for everyone. Mary pondered and treasured these things in her heart and mind. And we are called to ponder and treasure and wonder at these things. And so here we come to the final gift. And uh, on the way out, there is for everybody here some chocolate or some moam or um, some sort of edible thing. So you can treasure part of the gift of Christmas. We'll hand these out uh, as you leave. I'll put them there, otherwise I'll forget them and eat them later on. So you can taste some of the goodness of this gift. So as you open up the rest of your presents today, as you unwrap the layers, and our, our dog gets very excited. Our dog loves to help us unwrap and kind of chew off the paper on our presents. Um, but he's never particularly keen on what's inside unless it's edible. But as we unwrap the layers of Christmas, let's go deep. Let's ponder and treasure and discover the great news of joy that we all can find in Jesus. For Jesus is the Saviour. He is the Messiah. And he is the Lord given for you. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, you are the greatest gift. We pray that day by day, week by week, year by year, you would help us to ponder, to treasure, to go deeper into the greatness of who you are and why you came. We pray that this peace with God, this great joy, this good news would be ours not just now, but throughout our lives, as we spend our lives getting to know you better. For we pray this for your glory's sake. Amen.